Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Michael from The Honest Youth Pastor back again with another short video for you. One thing that uh, we've talked about on the Instagram page, I know we've talked about it here before, is making sure uh, to the best of your ability, you can know what your kid's school is doing, right? That you kind of know what books they're reading, you know what kind of things they're being taught. If possible, you have some sort of syllabus that uh, if there's a parent-teacher conference, you are on it. You, 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 to the best of your ability, right? Because we're all very busy. We're all very busy people and parents, and we are as active as we can be in our kids' lives. But we want to make sure we're kind of monitoring what's going on. So obviously, best case scenario, in my opinion, is to homeschool your kids or send them to a, uh, maybe a private school if possible, though I think homeschooling is probably the best if you can do it. But if you can't, right, there's lots of cases, my kids go to public school, um, then you have to kind of be as involved as possible, knowing what they're reading, asking them what they're reading, being involved in what they're reading, having this dialogue with them so that they know that they're supposed to question the world around them a little bit. Well, this uh, video is called The Indoctrination Parade, and this is why I want to show you a video. Uh, you've probably already seen it, to be honest with you, if you've been online at all, but I just want to bring it up in case you haven't. This video here is actually from a school in Texas. Um, the This was put on by the teachers and the administration. Uh, they have a whole table uh, of, of, of uh, uh, rainbow mask, rainbow buttons, uh, pronoun buttons, rainbow flags. The kids can make their own posters if they wanted. And uh, this is a video from that event where they went and did sort of a, a pride parade down the hallway because apparently in Texas... It was uh, Pride Week down there uh, last week, or maybe this week. I don't know. I'm sorry. Don't keep up to date on that sort of thing. So the idea here is though that there's a whole bunch of these kids, and these are all these aren't junior high kids. These are elementary kids. These are kids that uh, that most of them. I, I would imagine if you were to sit them down and have a serious conversation, if you, as their parent, sit them down and ask them a serious question about, do they understand what two-spirited is? Do they understand what transgenderism is? Do they understand what homosexuality is? Like, do, do you, what is this? Like, what is this? Like, define this for me. I would say some of them may be able to answer the more basic parts of the LGBTQ, right? They're going to be able to answer some of that. Um they're not going to be able to answer some of the other stuff. And that's where, well, this is a problem regardless, but this is where it becomes more of a problem because what's happening here is really indoctrination. And indoctrination, the definition is asking to someone to accept something uncritically. Like you're not, you're not asking them to question, is this right? You're not asking them to question, you know, well, is this factual? Can you, can you demonstrate how this is a true and right thing? um biologically can you do that well no they're elementary school children some adults couldn't have that conversation with you so the idea of having them walk down the hallway doing this is indoctrination just as much to be fair as there is an indoctrination in some churches um my hope would be right that as parents, as churches, we are discipling our children in the faith. We're asking them to question it, to push back against it, to uh, ask those hard questions, because I believe that the scriptures have the, those answers, that there are answers there. And God, he isn't as scared of your, your questions. He's not as scared of, uh, of the hard ones. Uh, but what we see here is basically if this, if this was switched and these kids were these kids were walking down the hallway with Bible verses and, um, you know, you know, it was shirts that say Jesus loves you. Uh, they would have thrown an absolute fit. But that's not what's happening. So they're accepting it. So let's let's watch it really quick. And I just want you to kind of witness this event. Right. Again, these are um, probably the oldest one, I would say, is 12, maybe 13 as far as these kids. So let's watch this and then we will uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, so there's that. So there's a couple issues here, primarily. Um, schools are not for um, for this sort of thing, right? So in class, maybe in biology class, right? 
maybe in science, but specifically in biology, you're going to be talking about these sorts of things. You're going to be talking about sexuality. You're probably going to be talking about gender. You're probably going to be talking about things of that nature, right? And then you can sit down and have those conversations, right? Somebody can state a fact and you can push back against it. Somebody can disagree with that and you can bring up a study. Um, there's all sorts of things that can happen in that class. So even in elementary school, right, that likely won't happen. Um, it's, it's very much the, the dissemination of information. Um, children speaking up and you know, asking questions and pushing back really hard is usually not welcomed in most public schools that I've seen, but that might happen. But you need to be aware that this is a thing that's happening in some schools. Maybe not your school yet, maybe not uh, in, in your district, but I guarantee it's happening in your state somewhere, something very similar to this. So the question you have to ask yourself as a Christian parent or as, uh, as a student even that might be participating or going to a school in which this is happening, how will I react to this? But more importantly, how do I, who, how do I address this in a way? And again, this channel is for believers, so this is the direction I'm going with. How, how do I, as a believer, as somebody that follows Christ, how do I interact with situations in which uh, that entire parade, contrary to what some progressive Christians would say, um, goes against the scriptures that we know to be um, inspired by God, passed down to us through man. Like how, how do I react to that? Well, you're going to have to get in the scriptures, right? You're going to have to do the study. We actually have an entire playlist uh, of, of a study uh, through, we did four book reviews, two that were uh, affirmative and two that were not affirmative as far as LGBTQ+. And um, that, that's available for you. That's a start. There's some history there. There's some, um, there's some pushback there based upon what some of the books said. And so that's a start for you if you're interested. I'll link that in the description below and try to put that card up at the end of this video. But the reality is that parade isn't too far off from your local school. Like at this point, it's not a if that will happen. It's really more of a when will that happen. When will that conversation come up? When am I going to have to talk about it? When am I going to have to defend my faith in a loving yet very firm way? And if you're sort of scared of that conversation, again, that playlist hopefully will be a place to help you start having that discussion so you can kind of iron out those details for yourself, really kind of dig in and combat and kind of you know get in the dirt with it. But be aware that this is out there. Be aware that there are teachers in the school, not all of them, but there are teachers in the school that are very adamant about your child dancing down the hallway with a rainbow flag in their hand without even knowing why, but are being conditioned to be children that when you as a Christian parent say, that goes against what we believe. They say, well, I don't want to believe that because love is love. Keep that in mind. I'm just saying it's there. I'll leave you with this video and the playlist. Check it out. Hopefully it's helpful. I'll talk to you later.